10 years ago or longer. We never would have anticipated this moment where Marty and I get to go down together. Underground in the money pit. The wait is finally over as Oak Island's hidden treasures have been found. For over 200 years, this mysterious treasure has enticed and eluded countless treasure hunters and devoted historians who have searched for this two million pounds treasure. However, the Lagina brothers, on their relentless decade-long quest, have managed to uncover a trove of secrets and artifacts. Now brace yourself for the shocking twist, because the ancient Nova Scotia's Oak Island treasure has now been found. Could this truly be the long-sought-after prize that so many risked their lives for? Have the Lagina brothers finally put an end to the 229-year-old mystery? Join us as we uncover how the long-hidden treasures of Oak Island were finally found. Right from the start, with the mysterious money pit that kick-started this captivating saga, to the complex network of tunnels and clever traps that scared off anyone brave enough to set foot on the mysterious island, only a few have endured the challenges of this fascinating island. However, for years, we have followed Rick and Marty Lagina's relentless quest to uncover the long-hidden treasure of cursed Oak Island. They have displayed an unwavering determination as they confronted daunting obstacles and approached their mission with unmatched enthusiasm. As they delved deeper than ever before, this exciting search has yielded a discovery that could potentially bring their decade-long treasure hunting to an end. The Lagina brothers and the crew were gearing up for this groundbreaking milestone after months of searching and drilling on the island, with a specific target in mind. They anticipated finding gold, silver, or copper based on a strong signal from their advanced mapping device. Achieving this feat is no small task, considering the years they have dedicated to seeking the massive fortune that has the potential to change their lives. Throughout their journey, we have seen the brothers frequently stopping by the original money pit to assess and evaluate the progress made with the Garden Shaft Probe Drilling Association. Unfortunately, no significant value has been found until now. Interestingly, a shocking event occurred before the spectacular discovery, which could have discouraged the brothers. However, they remained undeterred. Keep watching as we explore all the notable events that led to the discovery of the prize behind one of the longest-running treasure hunts in recorded history. But before we begin, let's first look at some important context. Oak Island is a mysterious place situated just off the eastern coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. It's a privately owned island that spans about 140 acres and is surrounded by the beautiful blue waters of Mahone Bay. To reach the island, you can cross over a narrow causeway that connects it to the mainland, specifically the charming rural town of Western Shore. And if you stand on the nearest shore, you can see the delightful village of Chester, which adds to Oak Island's charm. But Oak Island isn't your ordinary island. It has a fascinating and mysterious history that has attracted adventurers for generations. People have been drawn to the island by tales of hidden treasures and ancient relics, it's a place where fog often blankets the shores for about 90 days each year, adding an air of mystery. And the island's tranquility is sometimes disrupted by powerful storms like nor'easters and hurricanes. When you explore the heart of Oak Island, you'll discover a rich tapestry of temperate broadleaf and mixed forests, known as the New England Acadian forests. This natural paradise is home to majestic creatures like great blue herons, black guillemots, ospreys, and the elusive rosy at the turn. The rosy in turn is actually an endangered species protected by Canadian authorities, so efforts are being made to preserve their habitat, even if it means managing other bird species. In 1924, a geologist named J.W. Goldthwaite from the Geological Survey of Canada conducted a detailed mapping of Oak Island to uncover its geological history. What he found was truly fascinating. The island is made up of four magnificent drumlins, which are elongated hills formed over thousands of years by glacial forces. Beneath the layers of soil and bedrock lies the possibility of hidden treasures. Speaking of bedrock, Oak Island has two distinct types. In the southeastern part, you'll find Mississippian Windsor Group limestone and gypsum, while the northwestern region reveals Cambro-Ordovician Halifax Formation Slate. These geological formations add to the island's uniqueness and provide clues to its potential secrets. 
Now you might be wondering how this extraordinary treasure hunt that has lasted over two centuries really started. How did the search for the mysterious treasure on Oak Island begin? So, Oak Island has retained an irresistible charm for treasure seekers since the late 1700s, similar to a siren's call beckoning adventurers to its shores. Legends of hidden wealth attributed to Captain Kidd have fueled imaginations for generations, while the early excavation efforts on the island remain shrouded in a mysterious mist, like whispers carried by the wind. In 1856, the tapestry of Oak Island's tales began to take shape, weaving together notions of Captain Kidd's plunder, religious relics, ancient manuscripts, and even the lost jewels of Marie Antoinette. However, skeptics argue that the fabled treasure is no more than a mirage, an illusion born of hopeful hearts. Central to the intrigue is the enigmatic Money Pit, a deep and mysterious cavity nestled on the island's eastern side. Like Pandora's box waiting to be unlocked, this pit is believed to be the very birthplace of the island's excavation endeavors, plunging over 100 feet into the earth. According to local lore in 1795, a Nova Scotia teenager stood on the mainland and witnessed an ethereal light dancing above the island, captivating his imagination. Fueled by curiosity, he mustered two companions and embarked on a fateful rowboat journey to Oak Island. Guided by the whispers of destiny, they stumbled upon a depression in a wooded area, a portal into the unknown. The soil was disturbed, and young trees stood as witnesses to past activity. With youthful enthusiasm, they embarked on the excavation that would later be known as the Money Pit. At a mere two feet deep, they unearthed a ring of stones encircling the pit, a cryptic circle guarding secrets. At ten feet, they encountered a platform constructed of crafted timbers, integrated seamlessly into the pit's walls. Another man-made platform awaited them at twenty feet. Alas, their efforts bore no fruit, leaving them with nothing but unanswered questions and unfulfilled dreams. The narrative resurfaced in the early 1800s, when the Onslow Company embarked on the first official expedition to penetrate the mysteries of Oak Island. They ventured where their predecessors had left off, forging ahead with unwavering determination. Milestone after milestone, they discovered additional platforms every ten feet, each one a breadcrumb leading deeper into the labyrinth. Some of these platforms bore peculiar layers of putty, charcoal, or coconut fibers, like cryptic imprints of a forgotten past. It is worth noting that coconuts do not naturally thrive within a 900-mile radius of Nova Scotia, adding an exotic twist to the island's enigma. The crowning jewel of their quest emerged at a depth of 90 feet, an angular stone adorned with inscrutable markings, a Rosetta Stone of Secrets. In the 1860s, a language professor from Dalhousie University deciphered the code, unraveling the message, 40 feet below, 2 million pounds are buried. However, in the 1970s, a different interpretation emerged, casting doubt on the original translation and suggesting a Coptic Christian warning against neglecting one's spiritual duties. Oak Island boasts an array of captivating formations, like the mysterious Nolan's Cross, named after a tenacious treasure hunter, or the mysterious triangular-shaped swamp that seems to guard its secrets with an ethereal mist. Smith's Cove, too, has been a hotbed of activity, yielding curious discoveries such as non-native coconut fiber, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the island's tapestry. Detractors often dismiss Oak Island as Hoax Island, their skepticism fueled by the lack of concrete eyewitness accounts. Prior to the early 1860s, tangible evidence supporting the island's excavation efforts remained elusive. The first documented expeditions, undertaken by the Nova Scotia Boys and the Onslow Company, marked the genesis of recorded activity on Oak Island. However, much of the information from the 19th century is derived from secondary accounts provided by individuals who claim involvement in the excavations. These inconsistencies raise suspicions among skeptics, with some positing that the gold chain links purportedly discovered in 1849 were deliberately planted to ignite interest and attract future expeditions. Similarly, the inscribed stone found in the early 1800s lacked official documentation until 1862. Intriguingly, it did not find mention in the Oak Island Treasure Company's 1893 investment prospectus, 
and no sketches or photographs capturing the stone or its markings were included. The current representation of the stone, which serves as the foundation for modern translations, dates back to 1949. Despite the challenges and doubts, intrepid adventurers have persisted in their quest to unravel Oak Island's enigmas. They have faced frustration and disappointment as the island guards its secrets with unwavering tenacity. For over two centuries, speculation has run rampant, hopes have been dashed, and numerous attempts have ended in failure. And that's where Rick and Marty, Legina's brothers, come in. Their journey epitomizes unwavering patience, unrelenting determination, and the triumphant spirit of human curiosity. The Legina brothers have truly made their mark on Oak Island's history, creating a legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. Their contributions have ushered in a new era for the island, forever changing its narrative and capturing the imaginations of treasure seekers around the world. Guess what? You won't believe what these Legina brothers have uncovered on Oak Island. It's a breakthrough like no other, and it's got everyone's hopes soaring. These brothers are unstoppable as they navigate the mysterious island, fueled by childhood dreams and an unwavering belief in hidden riches. Armed with extensive research and a deep understanding of the island's complex history, they embark on a journey of truth, wealth, and discovery. Digging deep into the island's soil becomes their only way forward in the search for its elusive treasures. The challenges are immense, from treacherous booby traps to crushing disappointments. But just when they're on the brink of giving up, a miraculous discovery breathes new life into their spirits. Imagine this, while plowing through the ground, they stumble upon a mysterious stone, buried at an unbelievable depth. This stone is like nothing they've ever seen before, adorned with enigmatic marks and symbols. It may not be valuable like gold, but its sheer presence ignites an energy within the team. They're more determined than ever to succeed where others have failed. They will unearth the hidden treasure of Oak Island. The Lagina Brothers' captivating adventure catches the public's attention, especially when it becomes the subject of the hit TV show, The Curse of Oak Island. Who can blame people for being captivated by these driven treasure hunters? Their quest is filled with speculation and excitement. And when they unearth an ancient Roman sword, dated back 1,800 years, the significance sends shockwaves through the world. But wait, there's more. The team stuns the world yet again with an unbelievable discovery, an underground tunnel that connects the beach to something mind-boggling. It's none other than the infamous Money Pit, the epicenter of this entire treasure-hunting experience. The legends come to life as the Legina brothers delve deeper into the mystery. Can you feel the anticipation building? The Legina brothers and their crew have captivated us all with their relentless pursuit of hidden treasures. They embody the spirit of adventure and determination, and it's no wonder people believe in them. But you might want to know the origin of the treasure these guys were searching for. Where is the Oakland treasure from? There were different opinions about the origin of the long-buried treasure of this spectacular island. Some believed it might have belonged to Queen Marie Antoinette, who supposedly hid her immense wealth on the island while fleeing from the disgruntled French public and their dreaded guillotine. Interestingly, there were also those who thought the treasure could be the elusive treasure of William Shakespeare, a mix of gold and unpublished manuscripts from the famous playwright. Unbelievable as it may sound, there were even some who questioned whether the treasure belonged to the Knights Templar, given the discovery of certain relics associated with the medieval military organizations scattered throughout the island. Regardless of its true owner, the team was astounded by the ancient layers of strategically placed logs dating back centuries, forming an intricate network of tunnels that now made up the alleged money pit. The discovery of these tunnels held the promise of untold riches, and it fueled the team's obsession to delve deeper into the mystery. After excavating the money pit, the team painstakingly examined soil samples and unearthed artifacts. To their delight, these items provided evidence that ancient civilizations once called this enigmatic island their home. As you can imagine, the opportunity to contribute to the historical record of the island filled the team with an unwavering determination to push forward. This unwavering determination only grew stronger with the Lagina brothers, who were willing to do whatever it took to achieve the breakthrough they desperately sought. Their dedication and drive attracted a growing number of fans, 
turning their show into a sensation on the History Channel and the A&E Network. With the support and investment of like-minded individuals who shared their adventurous spirit, the team secured the funding needed to make significant progress. Over the years, they employed state-of-the-art tools, equipment, and techniques to dig deeper into the mystery. They even enlisted the help of diverse experts to narrow down their search to locations with high potential. It's no wonder the Lagina brothers unearthed a plethora of artifacts after spending so many years on the island, including pottery fragments, coins, wooden platforms, and even ancient parchments and documents that could shed light on Oak Island's history. However, despite these remarkable discoveries, they seemed no closer to finding the treasure or uncovering any concrete evidence of its existence. After all the time and effort invested, it must have been a devastating blow. This was likely the case in the early days of the show, as the Lagina brothers had already faced their fair share of disappointments, but their spirits were lifted when the team made a pivotal breakthrough, a discovery that changed everything. They stumbled upon an ancient Roman sword while excavating a hole. This finding suggested that the ancient Romans might have reached the island long before Christopher Columbus and challenged the accepted historical narrative. There are several interesting theories about the island and the treasure buried within. One theory that has gained considerable attention revolves around the connection to the Freemasons. The presence of Masonic symbols like the stone triangle and an ancient cross has led some to believe that the treasure belongs to this secretive society with ties to the Knights Templar and the Holy Grail. It's an intriguing idea that adds a sense of mystery and fascination to the search for the treasure. Some individuals speculate that unknown forces are orchestrating the entire Oak Island mystery as a psychological experiment or social engineering project. However, it's important to note that these claims lack substantial evidence and remain purely speculative. Conspiracy theories surrounding psychological experiments and social engineering projects often arise from a combination of imagination, skepticism, and a desire to uncover hidden motives behind perplexing phenomena. While psychological experiments and social engineering efforts have been conducted in various contexts, attributing such intentions to the Oak Island mystery is purely speculative. Another fascinating theory suggests that the famous money pit on Oak Island may have been intentionally constructed as a diversion to mislead treasure hunters. In Season 3, Episode 11 of the show, Sword Play, Rick and Marty met with engineers Mike and Sean Harold, who were influenced by the research of a distant relative who explored the island years ago. According to their theory, the actual location of the treasure is adjacent to the money pit, as indicated by the placement of stones. However, previous expeditions had destroyed these stones, making it difficult for Rick and Marty to determine where to search. Regrettably, their efforts proved fruitless. This alternative perspective challenges the conventional belief that the money pit itself holds the key to unlocking Oak Island's secrets. The mystery of Oak Island has captivated adventurers and researchers for over two centuries. Numerous expeditions, investigations, and documentaries have followed in the footsteps of the Toronto Company each hoping to unlock the island's buried secrets. Modern technology such as metal detectors, sonar, and ground-penetrating radar has been employed, revealing intriguing clues and anomalies that deepen the mystery. Yet, the treasure remains elusive, defying explanation, and frustrating those who seek to unravel its origin. The allure of Oak Island has even attracted the attention of famous and influential individuals throughout history. Before becoming the President of the United States, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was part of the Old Gold Salvage Group in 1909 and remained fascinated by the Oak Island mystery for the rest of his life. Hollywood icons Errol Flynn and John Wayne also provided financial support to several expeditions, drawn to the allure of the island's secrets. Even King George VI of England reportedly took an interest in the treasure, instructing treasure hunters to report any discoveries directly to him in the 1930s. As you might have guessed, nothing was found. What discoveries have been made in Oak Island? So far, Oak Island has quite a controversial and mysterious past. People have made all sorts of claims about incredible discoveries on the island, but the truth is, there's not much solid evidence to back any of them up. 
The earliest excavations on Oak Island were supposedly carried out by local boys and a company called Onslow back in the early 1860s. However, most of the stories about earlier or later digs are based on hearsay and secondhand accounts from people who say they were involved. One of the most interesting parts of the Oak Island legend is the alleged finding of a stone with inscriptions in the 1800s. Apparently, this stone was buried about 90 feet deep and is believed by many to hold a clue or message about the treasure. But here's the thing. Nobody really knows if the stone is authentic or what it actually means. Surprisingly, the stone wasn't officially reported as found until 1862, and it wasn't even mentioned in the Oak Island Treasure Company's 1893 investment prospectus, which was supposed to have all the known facts and findings about the island. And here's the kicker. There are no sketches or photographs of the stone or its markings. The only image available is a drawing from 1949 based on a sketchy translation. Another controversial aspect of the Oak Island story is the curse that supposedly hangs over the island and its treasure seekers. But Christina Downs, Ph.D., the managing editor for the Journal of Folklore Research at Indiana University, suggests taking these claims with a grain of salt. She thinks curses and mysterious codes are often made up to make unsupported claims seem more believable and exciting. Even well-known figures like Joe Rogan have expressed doubts about the existence of the Oak Island treasure. Rogan wonders how, after ten seasons and millions of dollars spent, the Legina brothers, who own a big share of the island and have their own reality TV show about the search, haven't found anything solid yet. He suggests that the whole treasure might just be a myth, a hoax, or a wild goose chase. But despite all the skepticism, there's still something intriguing about Oak Island. Historian Joy A. Steele and retired marine geologist Gordon Fader have done some research that suggests Oak Island was once a secret British industrial center. They dug into business records and old letters and concluded that in 1720, the British Crown hired private companies and the military to do all sorts of industries on Oak Island, like making pine tar, brass, and wire as a way to pay off their debts. According to Fader, it was the biggest industrial development in Canada at the time, with lots of advantages like easy access to fresh water, a good shoreline, safety, and a place to anchor ships. Steele and Fader believe that the Money Pit, the central focus of the Oak Island mystery, was actually a natural geological feature on the island that the British used as a pine tar kiln to make tar and pitch for their ships. The layers of wood, charcoal, and putty found in the excavations match what you'd expect to find in an old tar kiln. Fader also thinks that the U-shaped structure they found on Smith's Cove was probably a storage shed for keeping the pine tar in barrels and protecting it from the sun. Back then, pine tar was just as important as oil is today because ships wouldn't set sail without being soaked in it. And there's something else that goes against the idea of a human-made money pit, the geology of the area. Fader explains that the bedrock on the island is easily dissolved by the sea and the water table, which creates a system of cracks and caves underground. This type of formation is called a cast system, and it's prone to collapsing and forming sinkholes. Fader, who spent a lot of time mapping underground conditions along the Nova Scotia coast, says that sinkholes are pretty common in the area. They've even identified at least two sinkholes on Oak Island, and many more on the mainland nearby. Geoscientist Stephen Aitken, PhD, who's been studying the Oak Island area for over 25 years, agrees with Fader. He says that the natural evidence suggests that the money pit is actually a sinkhole. Aitken explains that the bedrock beneath that part of the island has eroded, creating a cast system where some caves have collapsed and formed sinkholes, including the money pit. The search for the Oak Island treasure has been a real investment of both money and effort. Over the years, loads of people, organizations, and treasure hunting companies have poured tons of money into digging and exploring the island. It's estimated that they've spent millions of dollars on the hunt, making it one of the most expensive and longest-running treasure hunts ever. They've brought in all sorts of experts like divers, geologists, historians and engineers and used state-of-the-art equipment to dig deep into the ground. It's been a real journey, spanning centuries. They've faced all kinds of challenges along the way, from collapsing tunnels to flooding and booby traps, which have slowed them down and even led to tragic accidents. But despite all the time, money and effort invested, the Oak Island treasure remains elusive. 
Thanks for watching another episode of Beyond Discovery. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.